Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to my channel today. So today guys I'm coming on to show you a flip through of this Christmas Botanical Journal I've been working on off camera. Um, it has been made out of one of the big A4 padded envelopes. It's got a fabric cover. This is beautiful fabric. And then on the front all I've done is just collage some paper. Use this, let's take this, It's. I'll just take that off a minute. That's just the closure and it's just a big piece of silk Christmas ribbon it's green on one side red and then it's got gold I've just put that on to tie it this is just a topper I've glittered it all up I've used some of these little enamel uh, embellishments and then I've got these glittery poncettas that are really nice down the side um, it's it's an elastic binding two signatures we've got a jingle bell and then we've just got this Merry Christmas down the side um, I still have not found my Christmas charms I cannot find them anywhere so I'm going to have to have a look if I can find something to put on the bottom here but I'll do that before I sell it and then we've just got some lace down the side there so like I said it's two signatures I loved putting this together because I love anything botanical so yeah I really it's it I really enjoyed putting this one together so at the front we've just got this red ribbon we've got a pocket with that gorgeous big glittery tag and then we open it that way and it opens that way so we've got a big pocket there with another big tag on that's all glittered up we've got another little journal card there and then we've got a little tuck with that other big journal card there and then it just closes up like that and then it just fastens with the ribbon oops I can't fasten it now <laughs> I'll sort it when I've finished um, yeah I've used this crinkly seam binding on the tags okay so the first signature I used some scrapbooking paper just bear with me and I'll get it and I'll show you what it was I used I've used papers as well but I use this for a lot of the journal it's Fabrica Decoru Winter Botanical Diary so there were my journal pages I used and then I bought the matching die cuts to go with them so that's what the pages are all been stitched around the pages in some in some way they've all got stitching on here is just a little cluster that I put together just stuck that on there then I've just got December down there and then when we turn over we've got a big side pocket with a bit of collage and then we've got a load of they're all botanical themed they've all got flowers or plants or something botanical on them and then here this page it was an old diary that I had um, but I thought it was really nice so I rescued the December page I've just stitched around it and I've just put that really sparkly tag in there just thought it was nice with the robin there and then on the back we've just got this big corner tuck and then we've got a big journaling card in there here is just a little flip over just a little journaling space just one of the paper, scrapbooking papers a little cluster with a button and it just flips over for some journaling space there here is just some uh, graph paper with some stenciling there's a little tuck there but I haven't put anything in that because it's quite chunky and then on the back when we turn over a little bit of collage and just two journal cards they've all been stenciled underneath as well I don't know if you can see there the stenciling yeah I really enjoy putting this one together and then here is just a big belly band We've just got a Merry Christmas and then two more botanical journaling cards in there. And then we turn over, we've got a big pocket with a journaling card that I've all glittered up. And then we've just got just these two journaling cards, just blank on the back. To, I didn't ink over them because I thought the contrast is nice with the white, some white, some coffee dyed. Just thought it went nice in there. And then here is a grungy envelope that I've just done some collage on, some stamping, really grungy. And then in here we've just got that one, that one, that one and that one. Just some little journaling spots in there. And 
and then that's just clipped onto this coffee dyed page we've got some stenciling using Tim Holtz stencils and a little bit of collage at the bottom there just some book page a die cut and a little label so that just clips onto there with a rose gold paper clip and then when we turn over we've got some journaling space underneath there with just some stenciling a little na uh, what do we call these I always go to call them doily a little doily with a little piece of ephemera on piece of ephemera on the back there just some journaling page with some stenciling on as I said everywhere's been stitched around and then here I've made this big corner pocket and then on the bottom I've done a little pocket we've got this nice sparkly tag I've used gilding polish around the edge of there and then we've got this lovely shiny journal card and I've backed most of these in this backing paper it come I think it was from the Andrea's Artie Mazes, I think it was watercolour Christmas I think I printed a load of these off to back some journal cards and tags with and we've just got joy and hope there, I like that one and we've got stenciling on the pocket here we've just got a little top top with just a die cut and just a little journaling card got a bit of journaling space at the bottom there I've, got, I've not put lace on all the pages, just on some and then we turn over, we've got some paper for journaling, a little die cut and then we've got an Edith Holden book page there with the berries stitched around and then we've just got the back which is just about December. Here is another big pocket I've made from the scrapbooking paper, we've got some lace, a nice little collage there, happy holidays and then this really sparkly big journaling card. Doesn't it look nice on the back of there, that paper, I thought it just finished them off that goes in there and then we get to the middle of the first signature we've got some like a really jagged uh, scruffily ripped pocket there just got some book page some collage a little word some lace and then we've just got these bits of botanical ephemera in there like I said elastic binding and then here I've made three little pockets just some collage a little button on each of them and they've all got a little tag in each of them and I've just put some of this trim on the tags okay so we turn over just one of the scrapbooking papers I just thought it was lovely so I've left it we've got the other side of the December another Edith Holden page there with some lace down and then on the back we've just got the lovely berries here's just a coffee dyed paper with just a die cut and some stitching and then as we turn over we've got a little top tuck there with a little die cut and a little journaling card journaling space with just a little bit of collage at the bottom I have tried to leave some journaling space in here but I've got something else that's coming with it anyway another coffee dyed paper with some uh, what's it called piece of ephemera sorry and some stitching and then we've got another doily with a die cut and the same there here this is just a big Christmas tree I had this box it was an Anna Griffin box of Christmas ephemera uh, it was gifted to me years ago and I just found that I thought it'd be nice as a little tuck we've got some stenciling in the background and then that botanical journal card just fits in there and then we've got some collage, just some coffee dyed paper with some stenciling, a little ticket, a die cut and some book page. Here we've got one of the scrapbooking papers, well we've got two scrapbooking papers, a bit of collage on the pocket, little button, some glitter, I've glittered all that up and then we've just got some journaling bits in there. Again that's been backed with that paper. Yeah I thoroughly enjoyed doing this one, really did. And then we turn over, we've got an envelope, altered envelope, window envelope, I've just collaged all over it with papers, put a die cut and then it says let the magic of Christmas fill your heart with wonder. And then this big tag that's just been collaged with some fabric and that just fits in there. And then here it's just a piece of graph paper with some stenciling, I've just made a little pocket, a bit of collage and then two little botanical journaling cards turn over we've got a little tuck there I haven't put anything in there and just some stenciling and then we've got the other side of that little bit of uh, flip paper and then we've got another pocket here with a die cut merry and bright and some more journaling ephemera 
got some lace down this page and then this is the other side of that diary page that I showed you in the beginning and this is November we've got the lovely rob and it's all been stitched around so there's journaling space on there here we've got a little side pocket with some of the scrapbooking paper just some collage and then some botanical ephemera it was nice working with scrapbooking paper actually instead of a kit I did enjoy it yeah and I liked that I could make it that bit bigger did I tell you what it measured it measures I can't remember whether I said in the beginning it measures I don't remember whether just under 10 inches by just over six and a half inches I can't remember whether I told you in the beginning but yeah um, I, I enjoyed working with the scrapbooking paper it was a nice change so that's the end of the first signature so the second signature we start off we've got this side pocket we've got some die cuts the word merry and then again some botanical ephemera turn over we've got this winter greetings this was a it was a shopping list that I picked up in the range and I've just used it as some of uh, like a journaling page and I've just stuck it onto that paper so you could do a list or whatever in the diary page for the 25th of December 2017 and a little die cut that's been stenciled on as well and then on the back it's just for journaling we've got some stencil in there and then a little die cut here is a book page, it's just God rest you merry gentlemen, it's quite grungy that one, it feels really squishy, some lace down the side and then on the back was the other side of the book page, it's just about Christmas decorations, it's really grungy and it's sort of really ruffled up that one and it just tells you about winter evergreens. Here is just a coffee dyed grungy page with some collage at the bottom, just some book page, a die cut and some lace, stitching all around there. And then we turn over and we've got another one of these big pockets with some invoice paper at the back and then this gorgeous sparkly journaling card that's been backed in that paper. Can you see the sparkle there? <laughs> I, loved, I loved playing with glitter and everything. This is actually a vintage doily that I picked up from an antique shop. Um, I've put that in and then just a die cut there and then another die cut on the back. Here's just a little corner tuck with some journaling space, some stamping. On the back just some journaling space, a little bit of foliage stamped there, we've got some stenciling and then another stamp of used down the bottom there. Journaling space with some more stamping and some stenciling. Here's a pocket page and we've just got that lovely big botanical journaling card that just goes in there, she says. And then on the back is a kit page, I've left that for journaling, I've left this coffee dyed paper with some stenciling, just a little cluster in the bottom down there for journaling. So there is quite a bit of journaling space in here actually. Uh, coffee dyed paper just with stenciling and then here I've just used two of the postcards from the kit, I've glittered them all up and I've just used them as pockets and some botanical ephemera in there and the same in that one. Just got some ephemera in there. Okay, and then we turn over and we're in the centre of the first signature. Isn't that beautiful, that uh, scrapbooking paper? It's gorgeous. Again, on the back, we've got another one of them shopping lists. I've just put deck the halls and then a little die cut at the bottom. Here, we've got some of the little pegs that I showed you that I bought, just little, little stripy pegs. And here is just a little little notebook that I've just put together with a die cut that just clips onto that page so you've got journaling space there and there's journaling space underneath to journal as well journaling space on the back with some stenciling another little cluster at the bottom down there here is another pocket page big journaling card And then a kit page, we've got some coffee dyed paper with some stamping and some stenciling and some lace down that page. Space for journaling, journaling space on there with a bit of stamping. More stamping there, stamping at the top and then we've got the other side of the vintage doily with just one of the little die cuts on. Here we've got another one of the big corner pockets, I've just done some stenciling all over this. There's all little red things everywhere like little sequins from when I was photographing it I put some sequins around the outside and I keep finding them in the pockets uh, yeah so that's a big 
pocket there with some stenciling on onto some invoice paper and then we've got this nice tag or bookmark whatever you want to use it for sparkly and then just that little piece of ephemera there just fit in there journal in space quite grungy coffee dyed paper with some little bit of collage at the bottom this is another one of the books from one of my christmas books and it's christmas traditions it's really like grungy this one really inked up and it's just about queen victoria's christmas tree 1848 it's not the original obviously it's just from a book and then at the back we've got the other side of the page which is the holly and the ivy got another diary page there that I've just done some stenciling and stitched around stenciling and a little die cut there and then we've got another one of these lists that I've put in and just happy holidays just thought they were a nice journaling spot on there and then I think we're at the back yes we are we're at the back there we've just got this little pocket on the scrapbooking paper and then two botanical journaling cards and then at the back I've just made this let's take them two out it's just a pocket, big pocket that I've made for scrapbooking paper. We've got a tuck there, a tuck there, a tuck there and a tuck there. And we've got a nice big journaling card in that one. I've decoupaged some die cuts on there. That one just fits behind. And then this one just goes in front. Just that little journal card just goes in there. And then the same at the bottom. Just journaling cards. One goes there and one goes there. And that's it then guys so like i said i thoroughly enjoyed putting this journal together i really did in fact if i've had time i would have made another botanical one but yeah i really did enjoy it now there's a few other bits that i'm going to be including with the journal i'll show you now let's just fasten that up oops just put that there okay so i've made a little notebook i've just used some kit page I've just done a bit of collage at the top there put some lace down the side and it's just a little notebook with a few different kinds of coffee dyed paper in just thought that as being extra with it being Christmas you could use it for your list or your shopping or whatever and then we've got a little packet full of ephemera I've made this little envelope here out of one of the pages that I found I've lined it and then there's a load absolute load of botanical ephemera that's coming with it so yes yeah, there we go then guys so like i said i've thoroughly enjoyed putting this one together i'll tie that up again in a minute so that's the journal the little notebook and the ephemera so i'll leave my email address if you're interested in it guys just send me an email and i'll reply to you as soon as i've seen it so as always thank you so much for stopping by and take care and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye guys